Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Shein home stuff haul. I am going to get started. This is the first item that I am going to be showing you. This is a pillowcase and it is a throw pillowcase. You can see that it's like an off-white sort of color, like a very cream. It's not like white white, it's more like a cream kind of shade and it is textured. It does have like plush and then right here is just like weaved very very nice very soft the back is just plain next I have an art print and as you can see the art prints come wrapped around this foam too and this is the art print right here I will also show it to you on a frame but they don't come with a frame they come just like this and they are printed on canvas and these are about 12 inches by 16 inches. They're just under 12 inches, like 11 point something inches by about 16 point something inches. So the next one I have is two prints actually. You have to pick either A or B, and then A would be this one, and B would be this one. So this is what it says right here. This is what it looks like also printed on canvas very nice i'm gonna actually have the other one with the trees in the center and these on either side and these are gonna go in the living room okay next i have this right here and these are cookie cutters or just cutters in general you could use it for fruit you could use it for cookies you could use it for fondant this is a heart shape and the three of them are shaped. They come in a three pack and they have the large, the medium, and the small. So that is, they're a good price. I believe they were like $1.50 and then I also have a coupon code. So everything, I'm gonna be showing you the prices for everything down below. And that is the regular price on Shein, but I always buy with a coupon, so just Google Shein coupon codes and you'll find many codes all right so my absolute favorite thing that i purchased in this time is this right here and it is a cushion cover and it does have pom-poms and it is velvet it is kind of like a really soft aqua color that i absolutely am in love with this is what it looks like already on my pillow form isn't that nice? And I'm also going to show it to you how it looks like on my bed. Because, you know, they're going to go on my bed. But, yeah, this is what it looks like. So, the next one that you saw on my bed is this one right here. And this is another one that comes just like this one. It's just a cover. It does not bring the actual pillow. It is just a pillow cover like this one. But I did put it on a pillow and that's why it's already on here. And... I absolutely love this like I love the texture of it it is lighter than the other one as you can see this is more like an aqua this is more like a really really light aqua like very seafoam green that's what it is um, now this one in the back is just beige as opposed to the other one which is the same all around this one is not now they do have a zipper so it does have a zipper right here so next i have a poster it's not a poster it's an art print and it comes inside this plastic bag this is what it looks like i did buy two of them and um i also bought two of these frames at ikea they were like 4.99 each five dollars and this is what it looks like inside the frame you can see right here now I do plan on doing gold leafing on it so I am gonna show you actually see because the thing is that this right here this isn't actually metallic this right here is just like orangey like kind of like an orange yellow color it's not metallic whatsoever 
and um, yeah it is printed on canvas so that's really nice um, I am gonna show you how I do the gold leafing and I am also going to show you how they look in my room so I start out by using regular school glue and um, that's what I'm dabbing on the brush a little bit of school glue and then I am applying it to the areas where I am going to place the metallic gold leaf so that's the metallic gold leaf that I have right there in the bag and I grab it with tweezers and just place it on the glued areas so um, I do I do it in sections so that the glue doesn't dry out and sometimes it is really hard to grab but now I am patting it down so that it it sticks to the glue okay the, th the next thing that I do after I pat it down is just wait like a few seconds or a few minutes until it's completely stuck to the glue. And then I start using a brush that is clean and is fluffy and soft to take off any unstuck gold leaf. This is before gold leafing and this is after gold leafing. And after. Next, I have this item right here. And I will show you um, a picture of what it looks like on my door, my bathroom door. But it says toilet on it. And it has like the two figures right here that are showing um, someone like wanting to use the bathroom. And then I also got this other one that is the same thing, but it just says bathroom on it. Um, and it looks like this. It says bathroom. And it is just one of those clingy decals. So the next thing that I bought are these right here. And these are uh, coasters or trivets, whatever you want to call them, because it this totally works as a trivet where, you know, trivet is a, it's a thing that you put underneath hot stuff. Um, so it, does, it doesn't mess up the surface of whatever you're putting it on. These are such good quality like I was so surprised when I got these they're kind of like rubbery but they are so pretty and I feel like the detail like the detail it's heavy it's it's like perfect like it's not like plasticky it's like rubber it bends like I absolutely love it and the other thing that I liked about this one is that it has a hole right here so you can hang it from somewhere and even as decoration this is cute it's like sunflowers very 70s, very uh, boho, like fall, summer, like it's just a really cute trivet and coaster set. Okay, so these next items right here, right now they look disgusting because I've been using them and I didn't think that they were gonna work, but oh man, have they worked. <laughs> there are these little spiky balls right here. I don't wanna show you like a close up of them because they're so full of like lint and hair. But I've been using these in the dryer. They are like a rubbery material and they're heavy. And basically you use them to like toss them in the dryer whenever you put anything in the dryer. And it helps to fluff up stuff. It also helps to capture like if you have hair, like pet hair or like normal hair. Because that looks like my hair color right there. Pretty sure that's my hair. I noticed that they make the clothing more fluffy. Your towels come out fluffier. The other thing, and I am absolutely in love with these because of that, is that normally when you put blankets in there, like those big blankets, um, even the fitted sheets, like the bedding, it always like starts to turn into a ball inside the dryer. You know how it like turns into a ball and then the middle of it doesn't dry, um, just like the outside of it? Well, with these things, it doesn't turn into a ball. It keeps everything nice and open so that it dries well and I don't have to put it twice. Excellent. I do recommend these. Next item 
it looks like this. And what does it look like? Garlic? You're right. <laughs> it looks like garlic because it is actually a garlic peeler. So yeah, it works perfectly. It still has some garlic in it, like some garlic skin, so I'm like. The next thing that I got is this gadget right here. It's a fish, okay. So this is the practical fish scale scraper with cover. Um, it says kitchen life is a good helper. Anyway, it says cover design, fish scales not easy to fly. So it is a fish scaler and and they do have different um, colors. I think they have blue and they have this one, but I'm not sure. But they do have different colors. And this is like the handle. This is the part that is going to um, scrape off the scales from the fish. And this is the plastic cover so that they don't go flying from the top. Um, you keep it closed when you're scaling. And then when you're ready to like take them out and toss out the scales, then you just open this up and toss it out and clean it out. It's very easy to clean. It is um, like a hard plastic. The only thing I feel about this is that, in, and I think it's a design flaw, is that they should have just made like one opening, like, and that's it. Not like two. You see how that's like open? Because what tends to happen, and you're gonna see in the, and you, you should have seen in the video, is that when I go like this, they fly out this other opening right here. And if I go like this, they're going to fly out the back of it. Um, most of them do end up in here though, but quite a few of them flew out from like the other side. Um, the other thing that I would give you as a hint is to go slow. Now the fish that I was scaling, it's a mackerel and it was a pretty large mackerel. Um, and it does have really thick scales um, as opposed to other fish that are like tiny little scales. Um, they're pretty uh, big and tough, so it was hard to do it. Um, I'm used to like scaling tiny fish, you know, where it's like really quick to just do it, you know, like that. With that one, I had to go slow in order for them not to fly everywhere, like from the other side right here. It does help though to minimize the amount of scales that are flying around because usually when I scale fish, I end up with scales all over my hair, I end up with scales all around the kitchen sink, on the floor, on the walls, like everywhere. But with this, it does minimize that flying, the flying scales by a lot. So yeah, I do recommend it, but also if Shein ever watches this, and I will put it on my review on Shein, make it closed. <laughs> like, just like, close it on one side. I feel like it's enough just to have it like, it's like just one side open without having the other side open. All right, the next thing that I bought is this right here, and these are band-aids basically they're bandages band-aids it says wound plaster it brings a lot it brings 120 so they do stick everywhere except for the little area in the middle where it has the absorbing pad um, i'm going to show you a picture from the website because it does show more of the designs that it has in there but they're all different i could tell like if i see it in the light that they're all different. This one just happens to be like a very um, lime sort of green. But you can tell that there's like bluish. There's there's even Winnie the Pooh in there. Winnie the Pooh, Tiglet, t Piglet, Tigger, Eeyore. There's like some teddy bear. So that is my haul for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about this stuff in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave down in the comments below which one was your favorite item. And yeah, have a great day and stay safe out there. Bye.